Well, uh, good afternoon. Today we're with uh, our uh, colleague and good friend Diego Nunes from Estudio Nunes, Argentina. He'll be joining us today in this brief interview to better understand how can someone as a foreigner may approach the Argentinian market, may start a company, a startup, or invest in real estate, and all the technicalities related to investing as a foreigner. Diego, thank you for joining us. Well, thanks, Emilio. Thanks for a warm introduction. It's great to, to see you again, even if it's not in person this time. It's great to see what you are doing to, to promote investments and businesses and how active you are in this new formats, videos, interviews, etc. So glad to be here, glad to be part of, of, of your movement and, and what you're generating. Diego, let's just dive into it directly. How difficult would you say is to start a, a startup, a venture in Argentina? Well, what steps must be considered? Well, it's not that difficult. I mean, we have a very bad reputation sometimes that we are very bureaucratic and it takes a lot of time. I think it depends on having the right partners and having someone who has an agile mindset and business-oriented advisory. We can provide support and we are getting companies and startups being done in more or less a month. I know it's not the fastest in the region, but regularly you can find yourself a functioning vehicle in a month or so since uh, from the time you, you decide how to, how to start. But we have a way to make the company for you and then hand it over to the real mm. uh, shareholders. It makes a, a very big difference. Instead of three months, we can make it in one. You said that around a month from the moment that one makes the decision to engage in this, will this include having a, let's say, a tag number for the company or whether you need a, a, an operational license or something like that to do business in Argentina? Operational licenses are very rare. I mean, the, the regular criteria is that you don't need a specific permit for anything or to do business. Regarding the tax uh, number, it could take up to one week more, depending on how fast we get the, the company, but you could have the, the tax number in a month. And afterwards, okay. when you get the tax ID, then you could get the bank account. But it's like, I don't know, another another week or so. It's yeah, maybe with two months, bad. you are perfectly yeah. covered. I mean, no, no problem. Which, which is still no bad. And, and considering that this operational license will be needed only for certain regulated activities, are there any commercial activities that are reserved for Argentinian citizens? No, that, there's no problem with that. Uh, there are some restrictions maybe regarding real estate, since we are talking about real estate, buying some uh, lands that are near a border. That's an issue that has to be restricted. Sometimes in, it's completely forbidden, and sometimes you have like a quota that can be in the hands of foreigners. And uh, overall, in the country, we had a, a law that restricted foreigners to buy as personally lands. But that is being reviewed at, at the time, and there's a, an executive order to remove that restriction. So you could say, as a foreigner, you can do most of the of the businesses you can find here in Argentina. You won't have any, any issues there. It'd be the case to do this better as a natural physical person or through a company. My, I mean, what would you advise me as a foreigner if I want to invest in either rental property or any other kind of real estate business? What would be more advisable? I, I have to make a, a small disclosure. I'm a lawyer, not an accountant. So this is the <laughs> questions to ask a, a tax planner at a, because okay, okay. We, have a, we have treaties with different countries that avoid double taxation, but not all the treaties are for personal individuals and not all the treaties are for companies. So this is a very specific question and it's key when you are uh, thinking about doing some of these investments to have an accountant on your side, best to have two accountants, one in Argentina in this case and another in your country one of your origin. Country. Yeah, so you, you avoid double taxation. I mean, it's it's a very big business killer when you just said, okay, yeah, this is a big, uh, a very good business opportunity. And then two years afterwards, you're just closing your balance sheet mm -hmm. and say, okay, yeah, I'm going to pay taxes now. And then you paid more taxes than you earn. And it's really wow. frustrating. If I want to buy real estate, whether it is just a simple farm in the condominium in Buenos Aires or some piece of land in Mendoza, uh, from the moment that I decide which per, uh, property I want to purchase to the moment I gain title, how much time will you consider that that one must have in mind? I mean, if you come with cash and you just find that property you, you like and everything in less than a month, you can have it on your title 
the thing is, if you are a foreigner and then you you have to buy it with a local company, for example, you should add that to the amount and so or so that we would need for the company to be established. I mean, uh, it, it's, it doesn't take too much time. I mean, you go to a notary, they do all the work, uh, they, they just tell you what you are signing. And we are seeing a lot of purchase of companies by foreigners because, I mean, they are expecting Argentina to get better. And at the current exchange rate, the, the prices of the companies for mergers, acquisitions, etc., is is very competitive. Let's say I already invested in a, an apartment. So we're nice in Buenos Aires. And my plan is to rent it out. Uh, I'm guessing that since I'll be getting some sort of income in Argentina, based on this rent, I'll have to consider taxes. What would you say is something that one should understand before uh, investing in real estate? Well, you should pay VAT, that's 21%. But you would invoice it to the to the tenant, so it's like neutral for you. Okay. Uh, you should uh, pay a thirty five percent income uh, earnings tax. That's uh, mm-hmm. that's pretty standard here. Then maybe it depend depending on the value of the property, you should pay like uh, we call it like personal goods. If you have an estate, it doesn't have to be real estate. Um, more than a specific amount of dollars, you would pay. A small percentage of that in tax, but okay. it also the, okay. it also depends a lot whether you are investing as a person, and if you are a resident or if you are doing it through another vehicle, be it a local company okay. or a foreign company. Okay, um, almost at the end of this interview, Diego. What would you say are the three flagship services that Tuyo Curigo Nunes offers or is aimed or are, are aimed to international clients? Well, actually, we aim to be a business consultant before a lawyer. I mean, we are a business consultant that has a target to, like, with a, a legal eye, but we want to know you, get to know the investor, asking them what they need, what kind of business they want to make, getting to understand the business, and afterwards saying how, how we are going to, to implement it. It can be related to real estate. It can be related to high tech. I don't know. I, I try not to restrict myself to a specific business. I try to just get to know the client, get to know the business, and afterwards providing the value I, I can to. Sometimes I, I even act against my own interest because some <laughs> someone maybe comes here and says, no, I want to invest in Argentina because I want to do this, this, and that. And I know, for example, I know as we are in the alliance, we have 96 countries. So I know this business is better in Uruguay. So I say, okay, keep that in mind. I will put you in touch with someone that will make this business better, but it's not me, it's not Argentina. And the same, I, I imagine it happens to you. Something, I know, someone wants to have, I know, kept cattle uh, or start I know, some soy plantation. You would say, okay, yeah, I'm going to jump with Diego because uh, Argentina's conditions are better. For this. Well, that's one of the reasons of this interview. Most of our clients that are listening and watching this, they have already invested in Panama. Most of them, some of them did it, but they might find Argentina attractive, definitely. Yeah. We're trying to, to get this type of knowledge to them. So thank you, Diego. Thank you very much for, for this entertaining interview. And I'm pretty sure that, that we'll hear from, from Prospect pretty soon people having interest in, in what we can offer together. Okay, well, thanks to you. Thank you. Thanks to PGS. I mean, it's it's great what you're doing. And we're available for any kind of questions you, you, you or your clients may have. Thank you very much, Diego.